Welcome, soldier, to basic training. Here you will learn all the basic fundamentals of Call of Duty. Let's get started. First, let's get you into multiplayer. You've already made your profile, and now you can get into action. Let's make sure you're looking good. Go into Options and Multiplayer Options. Here you will see your online name. Change it to whatever you like. On World at War, your profile name is your in-game name, so be a little smarter when picking that. On the main menu, you will notice these tabs. The Mods tab keeps track of all your custom game mods, which is discussed in another tutorial. Your Rank and Challenges tab brings you to your progress page. You can see how close you are to your next rank and even your next unlockable. The Create a Class tab is where you start making custom classes complete with awesome perks and cool weapons. You get your first custom class slot at Lance Corporal or level 4. Click on Join Game. At the top you have several options. Your server type specifies what you're playing on. If you want to play with others, you might want to pick Internet. Below is the Game Mode tab. This filters out all other game types so you only get the selected one. If you want to see all the servers, select All. Below is the Filters tab. You can turn on or off more specific server settings that suit your style. You do not have to wait till all the servers are found. You can click on top any part of the categories to find what you're looking for. I like to choose by the amount of players, but you can choose whatever you like. Once in game, you'll notice the map screen. This shows you an aerial map on the right and the team select on the left. You can choose either or select the auto assign to have the server choose for you. Then you're at the weapon select menu. When you first start, there are three packs to choose from. You get all five default classes by level four and you unlock your custom classes which will show up below. Once you select your team and weapon, you're ready to engage the enemy. Once you're in game, the combat is the same as single player. Right click to aim, and left click will shoot. R is for reload. It is important to reload often. It takes longer for empty clips to reload than half empty. You can cycle through your weapons by pressing 1 or 2. Yes, red barrels in multiplayer explode as well. A good habit to have early on is to pick up your enemy's weapons. When you haven't unlocked them yet, they can be fun to use. You get some extras when you get kill streaks. Three kills will get you a UAV radar. Press six to use it. Five kills will get you an airstrike or artillery. Press six to ring up the map and select where you want the strike to happen. If you're skilled enough to get a seven kill streak, you can call in a helicopter or dogs in World at War. If your kit has C4 as a perk, press 5 to bring it up. You see a trigger, but right click allows you to plant it. Left click will detonate it. Be careful and get back. Also make sure your teammates are not around as well. If your pack has Claymore Mines in it, or Bouncing Betty's in World at War, you can press 5 to equip them. Facing in the direction you want it to go off in, left click will place it. Now that you have reached level 4, or Lance Corporal, you can create a class. On your main screen, the option will now be lit up and you can select it. Then select the kit to modify. You can create up to five. On the right is how the pack is currently set up. 
You can change these attributes by checking the categories to the left. Weapons grayed out are not unlocked yet, however, they typically say at what level you can get them. Selecting your weapon is just as important as your perks. You can have three perks on at once, or two if your weapon has an attachment. You unlock more as you level. You can rename your pack to something better by clicking rename. You can go on to create more custom packs by repeating this process. Here's a tip. Make sure you watch your posture, not only when you play the game, but in-game as well. You will find yourself aiming low. This expands your field of view. However, your enemy is not the ground. By aiming and holding higher, you'll be much faster at taking your enemy down, since you have to move less to get on target. This concludes basic training, soldier. I hope you paid attention. Now the best way to get better is to practice. And what better way than to play? Get in there, soldier, and get fragging. For more information, go to SealTeam6Clan.com and let the Zen be with you.